Hey team, how's it going? How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a great day. And on this snowy day where I live in right now, I was playing some Dark Souls. Now, uh, sorry, you are asking uh, yourselves, why am I here and not in the Shrine's Bonfire? Well, that's because I went ahead and came to the Farren's D or the Farren Keep and kinda did a small circle in this area. It's an incredibly boring area to be honest and it's an annoying and tough area for me. I even died twice even though I had some poison items and gear like you see. That's why I'm dressed like a clown. And I still died once to one of the enemies. Anyway, so I thought to myself it's nah, it's boring, there's just some item collecting and there's nothing of interest here for me to show you but from here on there's some interesting stuff I need to do anyway as I get poisoned and uh, stabbed by these fellas and kill them ultimately um, there's some few things I need to continue doing here before I advance I already got two flames lit for the door to open, I need the third one, which is right here, and I need to acquire a few items, and then we're on our way to the Watchers of the Abyss. I think this is, aside from the times that I forgot to set the record button, this is one of the only areas I will skip recording, just because it's meh. And as I like the third one, you need to extinguish, not light, extinguish three of these torches in order to gain access to the Watchers of the Abyss, one of my all-time favorite bosses. And also, uh, there is a demon I need to defeat, and there's the most important covenant that we need to join in order to get the Old Wolf Curved Sword. And the old wolf curved sword is gonna be of great help to our build because it gives us health back too. Looks amazing and int intimidating. Although I don't know why when I reach there it's not as dark as that. As the cinematic show did. Um, I, as I gave the killing to Lodlith, I went ahead and got our first piece of the build which is the Pontiff's left eye. Pontiff's left eye recovers HP with successive attacks. So the more you attack, the more HP you get. Not the more, but you get a small portion of your HP. Which is all good in hood. I only have this small amount of souls, like I said, because I died to an enemy that is kinda nearby. I hope I can see it, he should be right here. The first time I played this game, or yeah, I was defeated by the same guy right over there. He looks the same as those enemy I defeated, but he's kind of a toughie. He jumps around, he powers up, and is generally an annoying. As you can see, he's got a grab attack, he's got a jump attack. A lot of annoying things that one should avoid. Now coming from this way, you'll easily see him. But I came from the other side and I was caught by surprise. As I was talking about him. The funny thing is, as an item here and there, there's just a few items I need to take care of before we advance. There's another item there. Come on. What's this one? It's the great sword. Like you see, looks like these fellas, but these fellas are pushovers. Really not problematic. But if they come in number, and I got lucky there, extremely lucky, you will get owned. I was extremely lucky. I should have died there. I was like four of them. Oh yes, best way to travel is to use a dagger. 
There you have it. No more pain. I did not know this the first time, and I spent 10 years in this place. What else? What else? What else? There's the Esther soup, I know. And there's the other place. This is where we came from, by the way. That's where we came from. There's some slugs and some pointless things living there. Nothing too serious. <laughs> yeah. This weapon is clearly not suited for attacks. I fought a wraith and luckily got a sword from that wraith. Oh crap. I do not like these enemies and I do not like fighting these enemies. So I always try to avoid them. That's not the way. That's definitely not the way. That's the door that we come from. There's a bonfire there. Hmm. I think there's only one place I need to gain access to. This is the stupid basilisk's place. I hate those people. They would curse us and you would instantly die. And that's something I do not want for myself. Anyway. Let's go this way. Hmm. Where is it? Goodbye. Oh, you're here. Or well, goodbye to. You shouldn't come. You should not have come. But... Never mind. Let me remember. I got lost the first time I came here, like I said. And where is the place that I need to go to? There's a certain place I want to access. It does not really have significant items for me, but it's reminiscent to Dark Souls 1. To the Mushroom Kingdom in Dark Souls 1. I would like to find it. Come on. Let me burst your bubble. Thank you. I aggroed him? Of course I aggroed him. Why wouldn't I? Another titanite shard. This blade is this place is filled with titanite shards. Yeah, this guy is big trouble, especially, especially when he corners you like this. So be careful. I took the risk because there's that item I needed to take. Ow. Run away, run away, run away. It's the third one. I aggroed. Oh god damn it. The poison! Yeah, the poison. It's alright. It's no problem. Not a problem at all. I'm right near the bonfire. So I did not lose that much experience. But I lost my souls. Which really sucks. Um, it should be somewhere around there. Oh, that's the, uh, is that where I want to go? I think it is.
annoying place. Seriously annoying. Despite the fact that I've caught like the first half of it, I still have things to do here. Oh yes, I think that's the place I need to go to. Die. Goodbye. That's exactly the place I wanted to access. And there, right here. Ouch. Ow, dude. As I defeat these fellas first. Go away. There we go. You go away. We find Elizabeth mushrooms. You see this enemy a lot in Dark Souls 1. Well, in, in a forest in Dark Souls 1. But yeah, it's kind of an easter egg. And you find the Sage's Scroll here. Which you give to our good friend, the mage. Is this the only way? Yes. Uh, no, there's an item. Oh yes, there's the white tree. Leave me be. Leave me be. I do not want to fight. Crown of Dusk. Those of you who played Dark Souls 1 know who Dusk is. A number. Always good to have a number. Gold Pine Resin. And Large Soul of whoever. <sighs> I feel like I'm getting unlucky in this place with the attacks they are getting. Like, I was in the right way of his long claw attack, and he did not disappoint himself. He got me and everything. Now, of course, I'm not taking this the way I should be, and I should be more careful, as I'm not careful now, too, as you can see. But yeah, when I don't like an area, I don't really care about it. If I die or not, doesn't matter to me. Come on, can you die? Thank you. I appreciate the jester. <laughs> Come here. Of course you do the flail attack. Why wouldn't you do the flail attack? I am poisoned. Go away. Leave me be. Again. When you're not taking an area seriously. When you're not doing your best not to die and assessing the situation and everything. Dark Souls can be extremely painful and hard, as it was right now on me. Anyway, Kindle again. Gives me that extra HP I need to get through this area. And now that these things are done, I've got the item that was right here. The other important place I need to go to is this one. Um, over there there's like Esther Soup, there's an item here, looks significant, Wolf's Lard, there you go, that's the item that I need in order to, Sunlight Talisman, advance in the covenant of the old wolf. Hmm. And that, unfortunately, is a PvP item. I'm just looking and see if I did not miss anything. And I'm definitely certain I did miss something. But hey. Nothing, 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 nothing. Alright. You 
use this. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Oh yes, it's a consumable. It should be consumable. We got the Crown of Dusk. Dusk is an NPC you see in Dark Souls 1, or rather you rescue when you have the Prepare to Die edition. Through the Guardian Elizabeth's Blessing, this raises the power and effect of the wearer's magic, but damage suffered by magic attacks rises in tandem. So it boosts your magic, but also boosts your vulnerability to magic. Anyway, uh, back here it should be... It should be... Where is it? Come on. Come on. There you go. A leaf signifying a duty fulfilled by the watchdogs of Farron, who stand beside the old wolf, ensure the serenity of these of those at rest, depicts a sword glass or a sword grass leaf stained with dried blood. Long ago, the sword grass leaf quietly identified members of the undead legion in the rotted forest rest the spirits of warriors past, their acceptance of and gratitude toward their guardians is expressed eloquently by the humble leaf. Again, like these items, this is an online playing item that you gain once you are pledging your allegiance to the Old Wolf Covenant, and I don't remember exactly do I either need to deepen my allegiance to the Old Wolf Covenant in order to go to gain the Old Wolf Curved Sword, or should I just defeat the Watchers of the Abyss and get the sword? Either way, we will see about that. <laughs> of course I know about this. The Dreamcatchers and a Crystal Lizard. Has nowhere to go, dear. Only death. Twinkling Titanite. And of course we'll go up there, but before we do, let me just first rest up the bonfire and get an allegiance to the old wolf. Of course, the old wolf is definitely Sif. The wolf belonging to Artorias of the Abyss. This whole covenant is of the Artorias of the Abyss. But as you can see, it's been a long time since... Ask to join the covenant, yes. I love the new covenant system in Dark Souls 3. It's not like the one where you... Some covenants will break your old covenant, some of them will make you a sinner. And it's a problem, so in this one, all you need to do is just switch from one to the other, like so. And there you have it. Now you are part of the Old Wolf Covenant. Again, it's an online play, and I am playing offline right now, so I'll do the activities off camera. The other important player or thing here is, as I switch back to my more resistant armor, there's a demon here, also a reminiscent not a knight, fallen knight? No, I'll keep with the knight. Fallen knight, there you go. I love the scenery, by the way. Amazing, isn't it? What's that place? Hmm. I wonder. Is it? No, it's not the Abyss. Oh, is it Irithyll? Oh, I think it's Irithyll. I'm not certain. It should be. Anyway, we have an old enemy we need to fight here. And he could be a bit tough. So, yeah. I'm going to be a bit silent when facing him. But, we'll see. Let's hope... I will get it from here the first try. I don't want to be here all day.
Ow. Did not dodge in time. Ooh, that was nasty. And done and done. Again, for those of you who played Dark Souls 1, this guy looks a lot like the Asylum Demon that you see. It's like the first boss you will see and you don't have anything and it's really something. This one is kind of a fading stray demon with his flame fading. Again, remember there's like eons passed since Dark Souls 1. And these demons are kind of in their way to extinction. A great axe. What else? And another amber. Really great. It's funny, I died quite a bit of times. Again, I arrived where I first placed this game. I came here first and I did not go to the Deacons uh, or the Cathedral of the Deep and that was painful for me. I died quite some times here and everything and it was tough. So, this is like a secret path you can take in order to gain access to these items here. There's gonna be some enemies here. I do remember. And I do know there is some enemies here. There's also a lizard, which will probably lead us to... I know, I know. Give me a second. There you go. No twin killing titanite? Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, these are pushovers. They're no problem for me. Another titanite child? Great. It's kind of a trap. But again, when you are properly leveled, as you can see, they are not. They are nothing. Let me break your shield. Oh, I forgot I can't. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Die now. You first see this place when you are on the Lothric and you wonder where to get it or how to get here. Well, this is the way. Please don't go. Please don't go. Thank you. Last Titanite shard. Great. Now, to be honest, if I was going with a katana, I should be able to level it up quite far with the amount of uh, items I have right now. There you go. And another large titanite chart. It's the dying dragon and a few items. Of course, one of those items is the dragon crest shield. Where is it? Um, there you go. A knight's shield engraved with a crest depicting a dragon, or depicting a dragon. One of the enchanted blue shields, the dragon crest shield greatly reduces fire damage and has parry. This one is amazing. What of the stats? Amazing stat too. 100% physical and everything. You know what? Let's use it for a bit. I like this shield because aesthetically it's pleasing. Looks amazing. Um, I think I cannot go back normally, can I? Can I drop here? <laughs> to my death, probably. But no, 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 no. I cannot go back the normal way. Uh, before I do, let me first make certain I did not miss anything. Yeah, he's dead, don't worry. It's D-E-D. -E -D. Uh, technically, this is not a dragon, this is a drake. Dragons are extinct in Dark Souls. So make no mistake, this is either a wyvern or a drake. 
not a dragon. Dragons are super big and super strong. And there's only a few ones left. That's a pilgrim. A dead pilgrim. And... Oh yeah, there's definitely... Unless I drop from up there? I don't think so. But there's definitely no way to go back. Unless I'm wrong. Oh yes, I'm wrong. Definitely wrong. There you go. There you have it. Easy peasy. So I do not need to waste my bones trying to go back. Like this area. It's really nice. It's really quiet and it's amazing. Gives us perspective. That's the Watchers of the Abyss slash Catacombs uh, area that we are heading to right now. There's like a sort of a village there, and that is the Cathedral of the Deep, I think. Oh yes, it should be the Cathedral. Oh, it definitely, definitely looks like the Cathedral of the Deep. Oh, yeah, 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 it is, it is, it is. I'm, I'm certain now. That's where we come from, actually. That's the, where they extinguish those flames. So yeah, that's the Cathedral of the Deep. That's the uh, Watchers, and that's Lothric, amazing as usual. And in the distance, can I see that place that we only access secretly? Not from here. I do not think I can see it from here. No. But we will see it, we will definitely see it when we are on... Irithyll, we will definitely see it, as a place that we can only secretly access. And it has one of those mechanics, in order to access, that were borrowed from Bloodborne. So those of you who played Bloodborne, will understand immediately. Which is cool. Anyway, I feel like it's been ages since I was playing, although it wasn't really. This is Mark, or this will mark the end of this episode. Uh, of recording, I will try to deepen my covenant with the old wolf. Uh, either way, one way or the other. And I will see if I can get the sword from it. If not, it's definitely going to be from the Watchers of the Abyss boss. And the Watchers of the Abyss gives me two weapons. One I remember because I've used a lot. It's a dexterity based weapon. I used it in my first pl play and I leveled up all to plus five. And the other one I can't remember. I think it's the Curved Sword. Either way. It's been Yagami here, ladies and gentlemen. In this snowy, lovely day. I hope you're having a great day, as usual. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Or when I see you, depending. Have a great day.